99% of the times your day will never end in a way like you finished everything there is no error in your code there are no bugs you need to resolve and specifically if you're a new graduate I'm not even a graduate I'm still studying and doing my internship Get back to him. Yes, about the shower. Right, don't worry. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Hi, professor. Hi. Hello. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. How's it going? Very good. Which, uh, sorry, sorry, we're late. It's only because I was just watching your video. That's why. Ah, oh, okay. How is yeah. it? Very good, excellent. I'm very, 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 very proud of what you've been doing here, by you. It's, it's amazing. Um, I am I'm really happy. Really, oh, really that's happy. Great. So, uh, uh, I can only I can only say that you know you things things are the way they are for a reason because you you have that motivation and always, as you said, you were saying in the video. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a matter of challenging and not letting the, the hurdles you know in front of on the path to uh to drag you from the objective that you have so it's uh, keep, keep going you know keep yeah keep overcoming things keep keep standing as well you know keep just keep standing really because it's um things are not going to get any easier yeah uh, they they although you know you may say oh there's a first step we reached this is very good this is amazing it's very good but the more you things are going to go the more they're going to be hurdles and Keeping that motivation and keeping in mind, you know, all that, um, all that willingness to do good is what's going to make you go over and you know, overcome everything. Yeah. So just, just going. So I just want to do. So I'm really saying that, you know, 
I'm very, very proud and very happy, you know, that uh, things are coming the way they are. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday, almost 7 a.m. Yep. So there are certain things which I haven't finished uh, during internship. And usually on Monday, which is tomorrow, I have to give update to my R&D manager that, okay, I've done that. What to do next now? So I can't tell exactly on which project I'm working on within my internship because it's an R&D internship so i'm not allowed to disclose that but i'm working in an area of deep learning and computer vision so that's all i can say and since last four to five months i have been working on uh, developing a computer vision model uh, tuning it validating it and i think it's sort of ready now but uh, the, the final end product of this computer vision model is not going to be like the one which we do on laptop like we use laptops gpu and cpu to train it tune it and validate it but the final end product uh, with this particular project needs to be something compact robust and small because of course you can't just develop a system uh, like a power hungry system with the gpus and cpu that, that's not how, how it's gonna work so in order to make it compact uh, and as an embedded device, I need to understand TensorRT. So TensorRT is a library. In fact, I'll show you um, wh what it is. So this is an official website of TensorRT, like a kind of a developer's gu guide documentation. So just to give you a brief intro about this, uh, it's a programmable inference accelerator. It's basically a software that NVIDIA created to allow people who are creating neural networks and AI to run these networks in production or in devices with full performance that GPU can offer. And according to NVIDIA, they mentioned that it's very robust, it provides low latency, and the resulting inference from TensorRT is 40 times faster and 30 times more power efficient as compared to CPU only inference, which is really good news. And I will highly recommend to you all that check this TensorRT because so far I am I'm looking into it and it, it seems really interesting and if any one of you is trying to get into AI or computer vision or, or even a robotics I think this is a pretty useful learning because you can use this to develop uh, computer vision models for drones you know autonomous vehicles and even robots so that's what I'm doing I'll be doing I think whole day on this and I really have to finish this one important thing I've seen many videos on YouTube mentioning about, you know, software engineers day in a life and all that stuff. I have to add few things on that because it's important for you guys to really understand this. 99% of the times your day will never end in a way like you finished everything. There is no error in your code. There are no bugs in it to resolve and specifically if you're a new graduate, I'm not even a graduate, I'm still studying and doing my internship. You have to put those extra hours other than your internship hours. Because for a new graduate, he or she needs to learn and apply the things parallelly. So if you think about Monday to Friday, studies, internships and all sort of stuff, if you Take that out and if you take Saturday and Sunday, those are the only two days you actually get to develop your own skills plus side by side if you didn't finish your task during your internship by Friday, you have to do that also. That's a reality, I'm not joking at all. I know internships are quite flexible as compared to full-time jobs but I genuinely think that it's a good opportunity to push yourself within an internship because you have that choice in here uh, and if you do that you'll be more skillful as compared to the other students and the growth if you're trying to get into this job after graduation you will be different and you'll be standing out from everyone else so your growth will be more you'll earn more and at much faster rate rather than just 
uh, doing the same thing again and again every single day so it's worth it but it's not going to be easy in the beginning because learning and applying parallelly it takes a lot of efforts and time and and practically if you think uh, our day to day life we have to go to uni then you have to do internship at the end of the day you don't really have that energy you know to to learn something new because you caught up uh, in those studies and internships so much that saturday and sunday are the only two days which are like fresh and you can actually learn and put some time and focus uh, into all those things so just wanted to give you this quick note because it's really important so just be aware of that uh, but it's fun because at the end of the day whatever you'll be learning and when you see things like moving specifically in robotics when you write some algorithm or software when you when you see robot speaking when you when you see he's doing some activities it's really satisfying so it's worth it but yeah just go for it and that's pretty much it i think i'll see you guys in the next video i hope you liked it and take care bye bye